Okay, so this is the new Sprout Pro by HP Gen 2, so the new Generation 2. Um, it's a improved in, in just about every way from Gen 1, in, in, including the learnings from Gen 1 and what the use cases would be. But you can see it's a dual screen touch PC where I have an extended screen now so I can utilize this dual screen any way I want for extra screen real estate or um, active touch and ergon ergonomically friendly uh, input. The system uh, specs, so we've got a i i7, we've got the, a new NVIDIA 960 um, uh, graphic card, uh, including uh, the Intel in, uh, in integrated graphics. Um, we have a 14 megapixel high-res color camera aiming down. We have a new depth sensor that takes real-time depth sense. We have a new uh, screen that's full 1080, so it actually is uh, 1920 by 1280. Um, it's a three by two aspect ratio, which is ideal for um, a layout and uh, creative drawing activity. And I can show the, uh, the new active stylus, which has 2048 levels of pressure. So I can, uh, very responsive. This is taking advantage of Windows full inking capability, which is a uh, dual touch and inking simultaneous. Full palm rejection. One of the unique features of Sprout has always been its 2D capture capability, so I can place any object and take a high-res 2D capture, whether it's a document capture or an object capture. Um, what we're really liking to show now is our 3D scanning capability. And we've made 3D scanning as easy as basically photography and video. So I scanned this earlier. I'm just going to show how it's done. But I can say add new, and then it's going to give me a preview screen. Basically, I just take any object. I'm just going to turn this matte screen off place it on the screen in the circle and start the scan and you can see it immediately start scanning in the 3D and all I'm doing is rotating it around to make sure all the sides have been seen and all the 3D is constructed and we're implementing some very sophisticated tracking and 3D reconstruction techniques along with high-res imaging so just a few seconds and I basically scanned the whole thing and then I can take a high-res capture flip it over and take another high-res capture. So every side I take a high-res capture, it's going to integrate that. I can just hit finish. It takes about two to three minutes to finalize. And I scan this ahead of time, and this would be the final image. So you can see high-res, about a 220 dpi color image po pasted on top of about a one millimeter accuracy 3D scan. So this is what we're calling a brand new 3D scanning technique that'll make scanning you know, uh, more uh, available to anybody. And it makes it really fun. We've also included a, um, a high resolution scanning technology using our visible light projection system. And this is coming from our recent acquisition of Dave Laser. So not only can I do high resolution 10 to you know, 50 micron accuracy, but I can also do this level, which would be great for AR, VR content, maybe social media. We're seeing all kinds of use cases. But this is the new Sprout Pro, new ID, um, shorter uh, footprint on the desk, keyboard docking solution, new high-res mat, active stylus, new GPU, and upgraded processing performance. The new Sprout Pro uh, Gen 2, um, this particular unit, um, it's running a Windows 10 Insider Preview of the creator. It has um, uh, the new Intel Core i7, 290 gigahertz. It also has a NVIDIA 960M GPU. Um, I have 16 gigs of uh, solid state memory um, in this particular unit, you can swap out PCI Express uh, solid state memory and you can swap out a hard drive. Um, you can go up to 32 gigabytes of RAM. Um, so we've really included some high level specs and um, customization capabilities to the processing power. This is the back of the new Sprout, new improved ID, very integrated sleep lines. Um, the projection unit here, this is the new 1080 DLP projection. We have internal built-in power supply. Just one AC cable to plug it in with a standard connector. Um, we also have a, uh, a um, microphone um, and audio output. We have Ethernet and we have a lock. And then here we have an HDMI output. So you can connect Sprout, Sprout to an external um, you know, TV projection system and share any of the screens and then four full uh, USB 3 ports.